Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we will discuss how to move a dead electric pallet jack safely. Whether you're dealing with a power failure or need to relocate a non-operational pallet jack, we've got you covered in this video. So let's get started. There could be several methods that you can use to move a dead electric pallet jack, depending on the situation and the resources available. We'll go over the six common ones in detail. First, make sure that the pallet jack is not simply out of power. Check the battery indicator or voltage meter on your control panel to ensure there is enough charge. Next, inspect the power cord for any damage or loose connections. If the cord is damaged, it may need to be replaced or repaired. If everything looks fine with the battery and power cord, proceed to the next method. Manual pulling might be your next best option if your pallet jack is not responding to the power checks. This is when you use your own strength to pull or push the electric pallet jack by its handle. This method is only suitable for short distances and flat surfaces as it can be very exhausting and risky. To do this method, follow these steps. Release the electric pallet jack brake and disengage it. Grab the handle firmly and pull it towards you. You may need to use both hands or ask someone else to help you. Move slowly and carefully, avoiding any obstacles or bumps on the way. Stop periodically and check if the electric pallet jack is still aligned and stable. When you reach your destination, apply the brake again. If the electric pallet jack is too heavy to be moved manually, consider getting forklift assistance. A forklift can easily lift and transport the pallet jack to where it needs to go. This method is suitable for longer distances and uneven surfaces as it can save you time and effort. Ensure that the forklift driver is experienced and uses proper lifting techniques to avoid any accidents. To perform this method, follow these steps. Position the forklift behind the electric pallet jack and make sure there is enough space between them. Lower the forklift forks until they are perfectly aligned and secured below the electric pallet jack. Lift the forklift forks until they raise the electric pallet jack off the ground. Drive the forklift carefully to your destination, keeping an eye on the electric pallet jack and avoiding any obstacles or bumps on the way. Extreme care should be taken when performing this task, as if the electric-powered pallet truck is not correctly balanced on the forklift, it can quite easily topple over, which will spark a massive safety hazard. If you have access to a vehicle with towing capabilities, you can use a chain to tow the dead electric pallet jack safely. Attach one end of the chain to the vehicle and the other end to a sturdy anchor point underneath the pallet jack frame. Keep in mind that you should only use this method if you are experienced in towing and have the necessary equipment. Our last suggested method to move a dead electric pallet involves using a pulley system. This is when you use a set of pulleys and ropes to lift and move the electric pallet jack. This method is suitable for vertical movements, such as moving the electric pallet jack up or down a ramp or a stairway. To do this method, follow these steps. Set up a pulley system with at least two pulleys and ropes, one attached to a fixed point above the electric pallet jack, such as a beam or a hook, and the other attached to the handle or frame of the electric pallet jack. Pull on the free end of the rope attached to the fixed point, lifting the electric pallet jack off the ground. Move the electric pallet jack to your destination. Get help from another person to guide it along the way. Lower the electric pallet jack by releasing the tension on the rope attached to the fixed point. This method requires additional equipment and preparation, but provides a controlled and precise way to move the dead pallet jack. Moving a dead electric pallet jack can be a challenging task. Here are a few safety tips and suggestions to keep in mind. Always wear proper personal protective equipment, PPE, such as gloves and safety boots. Ensure that the path is clear of obstructions and that there is enough space to maneuver the pallet jack. Communicate with any other workers in the vicinity to avoid collisions or accidents. If using a forklift or any other heavy machinery, make sure the operator is trained and follows proper safety protocols. As we conclude, remember that moving a dead electric pallet jack requires careful consideration of the situation and the available resources. Choose the method that best suits your circumstances and always prioritize safety. 
However, if you encounter any difficulties or doubts, do not hesitate to contact a professional for help. If you're facing issues beyond these methods or need replacement parts, Pilot Jackson is here for you. We are a leading company that specializes in providing high quality replacement parts for all kinds of pallet jacks. Whether you need batteries, power cords, wheels, forks, handles, brakes, or anything else, we have them in stock and ready to ship. We offer same day shipping, competitive prices, and excellent customer service. To order your replacement parts today, visit our website at www.palletjackson.com or call us at 832-239-5393. We are available Monday to Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content. Until next time, this is Pallet Jackson signing off. Stay safe and happy moving.